welcome you all this glorious night. And I know that without a doubt, God will visit you in Jesus' name. Those whose tomorrow will be better than they are today, let them shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Uh -uh, it's not for everybody. Oh. Those who know with a certainty that their tomorrow will be better than their today and their yesterday, shout hallelujah. Those who are going higher. You know, there is a place that Satan cannot go to. Yes. Even though he goes to heaven. Job 1 and 2 says they called a meeting in heaven and he came there. But there is a place that he cannot go to. Those who are lifted to where Satan cannot come, shout hallelujah. We are going You might be small today, but if you know that you are going somewhere, shout hallelujah. Nobody knows you today, but by tomorrow they will know you, shout hallelujah. We are going. We are going. We are going. Accomplishment, shout hallelujah. That your lot, that your destiny will be positively affected in 2017. Shout hallelujah. Twenty seventeen is going to be a great one. Shout hallelujah. You know, all you have to do is to play your own part. God will play his part. Me, I will play my part. Then you play your part. Uh -huh. When she was leading the prayer, she talked about. Uh, Commitment or recommitment. You know, I, I was telling God during the last few days, I was recommitting myself. Uh, I will pay the price. When I pay the price and I tell you what they say you should do, go and do it. That's your own. Hmm. You are going to be shocked about what will happen in this 2017. <laughs> You know, there are things I cannot say. Uh, they don't know us. But they will know us in this Nigeria. Amen. Uh, not, just in, not just in Nigeria, in this world, they will know us. They will know that we serve a living God. Uh, you know, play your own part, oh. You heard what I said? Money is the least of the problems. Money is what? Yes, yeah, so, uh, They will know us for money, but that's not what God wants them to know us for. Mm. It's 
It's not money we are going to pursue. We are going to pursue God. Uh, but the money will be there. Uh, it's going to happen. You will see it. Uh, <laughs> you are here this evening. Maybe when you came here, there was no money in your pocket. Huh? Uh. By the time you come to the end of 2017, you'll be short. Amen. I saw somebody, I was telling her. So I said to myself, I said, Am I the person that bought the car? Or the person who bought the car to give to me? I'm sure if they told the person to give me 5,000 naira now, the person probably can't find the 5,000. I saw the person. They messed this S class. Now they say it's being sold for 85 million naira. So when that person will get that money, I don't know how much it will be. I'm not sure the person can give me 5,000 naira. So I was saying to myself in the vision, ah, am I the one that bought it? Or the person bought to give to me. Because the car is in the person's house. But I knew that it's my own. And it was coming to give it to me. You are here tonight. 2017 is your year. There is one thing they put in the mouth. Uh, mouthwash. They use it to kill a uh, bad smell. So I'm praying. And I saw a woman telling her husband, get rid of your mouth odor and your body odor. Get rid of your mouth odor and your body odor. You are going to go to the Lord in prayer. You know when a man is smelling or a person's mouth is smelling, it repels people. You are going to cry out to God. Your mouth might not be smelling physically, but in the realm of the spirit, that is what is driving goodness away from you. You go to the Lord in prayer this night. Everything in my mouth, in my person, repelling goodness, repelling blessing, Away from my life. Let it go away with this year 2016. Let that be your prayer. Everything. Every mouth odor, every body odor. In my life, around my person. In the realm of the spirit. Lord, remove it. Let that be your prayer. Lord, remove it. Every mouth odor. Every body odor. Ask the Lord for divine mouthwash. Everything in my life, repelling good things, repelling blessings, let God remove. Let that be your prayer. Let God remove. Talk to Him. Talk to God. Cry out to him this night. Every mouth order, everybody order in my life. Ask the Lord to remove every unwholesome odor. In Jesus' name. You are here tonight. You believe that by now you ought to have been known 
What does it mean to be known? Hey, boy, boy. To be to be famous. Okay. You believe that by now you ought to have been famous. I saw certain women saying to a man, Do this that you might be known. Do this that you might be known. You go to the Lord in prayer. Lord, cause me to be known. Cause me to be known. They said to be famous, to be popular. Cause me to be known. Cause me to be known. Talk to him. In Jesus' name. Amen. Tell your neighbor he or she is already great. <laughs> Proverbs 18, verses 20 and 21. Proverbs 18, 20 and 21. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. A man's belly shall be satisfied with the fruit of his mouth, and with the increase of his lips shall he be filled. Death and life are in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You are first and foremost the prophet over your life. You are first and foremost the prophet over your life. The power of death and life is in your tongue. And he says, sir, a man shall be satisfied by the fruit of his mouth. What is coming out of your mouth? The Bible says now we understand that Jehovah framed the entire world by his word. And he upholds all things by the power of his word. He brought all things into being by speaking them. Your progress, your prosperity, your elevation, your promotion is determined by what you speak. Mark 11 says, Sir, ye shall have whatsoever things you say. Even if you speak to this mountain, be thou removed and taken yonder, and you do not doubt in your heart, then ye shall have whatsoever you say. The Lord said to the children of, uh, children of Israel in Numbers, I shall do unto you whatsoever things I hear you see. What comes out of your mouth will determine the level of your greatness or the awesomeness of God in your life and in your situation. It is time to align the words of your mouth with what God has said. It is time to begin to speak life into those dead situations in your life. When we truly know who we are in Christ, there cannot be any dead thing in our lives. The Bible says, of him is life. He gives life. He does not give death. I checked the ministry of Jesus. He didn't go to any burial ground to go and bury somebody. The only time he went there, he went to go and raise Lazarus up. Hmm. One man came to him. He said, uh, I want to follow you. What should I do to have? He said, but let me go and bury somebody first. Jesus said, leave the dead for the dead. What you say with your mouth will determine the level and the height of your promotion. 
You know, there are two classes of prayer. The prayer that is verbalized and the prayer that is non-verbal. The one that is spoken or secret, silent prayer in the heart or in the mind. And when you look at prayer itself, it has to do with the tongue. The power of life and death is in your tongue. You want 2017 to be the year of great accomplishment. You begin to speak it. You have a mirror in your house. Just put it there with an indelible marker. Permanent maker, 2017, year of great accomplishment. Every day when you look at that mirror, you see it. You begin to register in your mind. And after some time, your spirit and your mind will align with the spirit of God. But your tongue must carry exousia, authority. Two years ago, a friend of mine, he called me. They are trying to cast out devils from some person. And uh, they gathered intercessory group. They prayed for 16 hours. Ah. And even after 16 hours, the devil did not go. So I told him, I said, you are just clowns and jokers. I said, I would rather go and spend that 16 hours talking to God than to be debating with a, a devil. No. There is no way Jesus debated with devils. He just told them to go. And what he said? He says they shall cast out. I said, can you spend 16 hours? To, and at the end of it, the devil did not go. And he's still mocking you. And you are there. Leave the person and the devil. Go and look for God. You see, a lot of us, our tongue is too wet. It's too what? Uh, when you see a dog stung, it's always dripping of saliva. Uh -huh. If your tongue is too wet with spit, it can't do nothing. Hmm. Even the spit of Jesus carried fire. The Bible calls him a consuming fire. So when he took his spit, he used it to touch somebody's eyes and ears. Because of the fire in that spit, the eyes opened and the ears opened. This year, there will be plenty of prayer and fasting. Uh, when I call the prayers, they tell me, it's in your own interest. So I told them at the beginning of this year, he said, raise up their faith level. Hmm. I didn't say believe in me or just believe in God. I didn't ask anybody to believe in me. Just believe in God. If I said God said so, believe it. If you believe it, it will work for you now. Mm -hmm. I declare and I speak concerning your life this morning. Every area of your life that is dead, I command it to come alive now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your business, your finances, the work of your hands that is dead, I command it to come alive now. Yeah. In the name of Jesus Christ. The power of life and death is in your tongue. Make use of it. Create and recreate your life with your tongue. There's one lady, what's her name? The one that is singing. Bring the oil. Put it on her head. Everything that is dead in your life, I command it to come alive now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command it to come alive now. The entire work of creation now was spoken into being other than man. It's only when it came to man that he took sand and mixed it and breathed inside. Every other thing was spoken into being. I speak into your life this night. I declare and I speak as the Lord liveth that the year 2017 shall be one of great accomplishments in your life in the name of Jesus Christ. Every power of hell troubling your life, 
I judge them this night in the name of Jesus Christ. You are here tonight. You know when prophecy goes forth over a person's life, it's a guarantee that you cannot die until it comes to pass. Lift up your hand to heaven. Every sphere of life, every facet of life, every sphere of business, every facet of business that you are engaged in, I hand it over to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I hand it over to you now in the name of Jesus Christ. I hand it over to you now. In that facet of life, uh, in that sphere of life, uh, in that business industry that you're engaged in, you'll be known in the name of Jesus Christ. I said you'll be known in the name of Jesus Christ. I said you'll be known in Jesus' name. Receive divine speed. Everything uh, that has slowed down your life, hit a toe. Every work of Satan, every work of witches, of wizards, of sorcerers, by whatever name they are called, that has brought delay and stagnation into your life, I destroy tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy tonight. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy tonight. I declare and I speak over your life tonight. The angels of divine help and assistance, I release them on your behalf now in the name of Jesus Christ. The angels of help and assistance, I release them to begin to work on your behalf in the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere you go this year 2017, those of help and assistance that hit at toll have been shot against your life. I command them to be open now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them to be open now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command them to be open now in Jesus' name. The years that the locusts, the canker worm, the caterpillar of eating, in any and every area of your life, the wasted years, I command recovery and restoration now in the name of Jesus Christ. I command recovery and restoration now in the name of Jesus Christ. As you go forth this year 2017, the sons and daughters of men will listen, will hearken to you in the name of Jesus Christ. I said they will listen, they will hearken to you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every cause of delay, every cause of stagnation in your life, I bury it tonight now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bury it tonight now in the name of Jesus Christ. I bury it tonight now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I bury it tonight. He says, wheresoever the sole of your feet shall tread. He said he has given to what? You see, when you hear a message, bring, or you read a word in the Bible, go and put it to test. Every part Every contract, every agreement with debt, I nullify this night in the name of Jesus Christ. Everything that has debarring the glory of God from showing forth in your life, I command it to be destroyed now. I said earlier, I said they don't know you. But they will know you. Yeah. Yeah. You want to give testimonies. You have to be bold. It's something that I've done over and over and over and over again. The place we were living before, before we moved. When we were taken to go and see it, 2004. We didn't have any money or anything. We got there. We looked at it. 
Then I told her we went back there again, just the two of us. The Lord said to me, sir, remove your shoe. So I removed my shoe. I told her I removed. We walked throughout the length and breadth of the house, up and down, up and down. Then I told God, I said, I locked the place up. We sent the angels there to go and lock it. One whole year. We may God, we will go there from time to time. He said, I don't know what is wrong with this house. He said, people have come from Shell, from Mobile, people who have money. They will come and look at it. They will see they are coming to pay tomorrow. Then they will vanish. I said, it is possible for them to take the house. I locked it up. I sent angels to go and stay there one whole year. I'm going to see cars. I'll just put my feet inside. And I'll lock it up one whole year. They will not be able to sell the car. This man followed me to go and look at one at uh, Western Avenue. That time I was living in Akoka. I don't know what I was saying. I just got there. I saw the car. Like six or seven years old. Brand new. The man just kept it. I removed my shoe. I put my leg inside. Hmm. One whole year, they could not sell it. They started from 2.8. By the time they were selling the car to me, it was 1.6. By that time, they even entered inside Bessie. Mm -hmm. uh, one day they said they wanted to jump start the car. The computer of the car blew up. Bah! 450,000. They repaired it. They, the price was coming down. Uh, God asked me, how much do you want to pay? I said, it's 1.6 million, sir. He said, okay, just leave the car there. I was taking her to the airport. I think she was going to Kenya. The car dealer called me. He said, where am I? I said, I'm at the airport. I said, I hope no problem. He said, I'm in front of your office at Igboche. I said, what happened? He said, I brought the card there to come and deliver to you. Uh -huh. yeah. I declare and I speak concerning your life. Boldness in God, boldness in his word, boldness in his name that delivers miracles, signs and wonders, that gives a person testimony. Receive this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, receive this evening. In Jesus' name. I'm going to begin to pray now. I didn't ask you to pray. I'm going to start to pray for you. You would have started to do that. Hmm. I was going to preach before, but they told me to also make prophetic proclamations. The ladder of promotion, the ladder of elevation that God has constructed for you from today your eyes, your mind, your spirit, man, look at them in the name of Jesus Christ. The year 2017 will not be a wasted year in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people here tonight. There are things that you have been believing God for for years. That you have come to a place of no hope. This year 2017. There will be instant. Uh, speedy. Expeditious physical manifestation. Of those things. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Eternal Father I thank you. I bless your name. I worship you. I exalt you. I lift you and I glorify your name. Thank you, Father, for this year 2017. Father, I thank you, Father, for everyone here present this morning. Thank you, Father, for every man, every woman, every child here this morning, every household here represented. Lord, I commit them, Father, Lord, into your hands. I declare and I speak, Father, Lord, that the year 2017 in the life of everyone here present this morning, Father, shall be a year of great accomplishments in Jesus' mighty name. Every greatness you have written against the name of anyone here present that has eluded them hitherto, I command greatness, I enforce, I decree greatness upon the life of everyone here present this morning in Jesus' name. Amen. Everything, Father, Lord, everything, Father, Lord, that is against greatness. In the life of everyone here present this morning, let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let it be destroyed in, in Jesus' name. Let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. Let it be destroyed in Jesus' name. Whatever it is, oh Lord Father, that you need to do, that these ones might be great. Lord, do speedily in Jesus' name. Any and every man, every woman working against their greatness. You said you shall give the lives of many even nations, Father, for the sake of this one. Let every detractor, every oppressor fall for their sake in Jesus' name. Lord, they shall be great. Your name is already great, Father. Lord, establish and force your greatness in their life in the name of Jesus Christ. Everywhere they go to from this morning, let your greatness uh, rub off on them, be manifest in their lives uh, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Father, the songwriter said everything written about you is great. Jesus is the head and we are the body. If the head is great, then of a necessity, in as far as the body is not detached from the head, the body needs to be great also. I speak greatness, sir, into the life of everyone here present this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Father, they will return to give you thanks. Lord, I show you, Father, Lord, that they will not be ungrateful. Everywhere they go this year, let the doors of help and assistance, sir, Father, Lord, open unto them in the name of Jesus Christ. Every door of help, every door of assistance that has been shut against this ones, I force it open this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, you do not speak without bringing it to pass. You are the king who cannot die. Everything that represents death in the lives of these ones here this morning. Lord, I destroy in Jesus' name. Yeah. Father, I destroy in Jesus' name. Yeah. They will not die. Yeah. Everything that pertains to premature death, untimely death, sudden death, Every arrangement, contract, agreement, pact with debt, physical debt, financial debt, spiritual debt, I destroy this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. <laughs> Father, you spoke to me. You said there are some who the enemy has turned their tongue to keep them from praying. You said there are some sir, who the enemy has tied their tongue with a string to keep them from praying. Every tongue that is tied here this morning, I command that string to be broken in the name of Jesus Christ. Let that tongue be loose now in the name of Jesus Christ. So whatsoever I lose here and now shall be loose in heaven. Every blessing written against their name in the year 2017, I release now in Jesus' name. I release unto them their children in the name of Jesus Christ. I release unto them their wives and their husbands in the name of Jesus Christ. Every man, every woman, Believing you for children. Lord, give to them, I ask and I pray. In the name of Jesus Christ. Every man, every woman. Believing for a husband, for a wife. This year, 2017. Let it be their year in Jesus' name. Those who want to build houses. We not only buy land. They will build and complete this year in the name of Jesus Christ. 
as many as want to buy house or to buy land, I release the finances now in the name of Jesus Christ. I release the finances now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every mark of disfavor, every spirit of disfavor, attack to their lives, attack to their business, attack to their finances, attack to the work of their hands, I destroy now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I destroy now. Everywhere they go from today, they will encounter favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, I said they will encounter favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, they will encounter favor. In the name of Jesus Christ, any man. Any woman who says, except they die, that is when this one will prosper. Let every such man, woman die now in the name of Jesus Christ. Every man, every woman who has said over their dead body, shall this one make it? Let them die now in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power of hell, any power of witchcraft and sorcery, using the destinies of these ones, using their life, not to play Ludo, to play game. Let them die now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The wasters of destiny, the wasters of time. Father, Lord, I judge them this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. You are here this morning. You believe that where you ought to be is not where you are. You are here this morning. You believe that you ought to have gone beyond where you are. Raise up your hand. Father, I speak into the lives of this one here this morning. Let them receive divine speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let them receive divine speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over the work of their hands. Receive divine speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over your business and your finances. I move them forward now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Over your pursuits. Over your efforts in life. I said receive divine speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your time will no longer be wasted. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said your time will no longer be wasted. In the name of Jesus Christ. I baptize your tongue with fire this morning. For exploit, he said that I and the children that the Lord has given to me in Israel, we are for signs and we are for wonders. The Lord bring you to national prominence this year in the name of Jesus Christ. I said the Lord bring you to national prominence this year in the name of Jesus Christ. The work of your hands will not die. Amen. Your business and your finances will not die. Amen. Your life will not be taken. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The snatchers of life. I come against them this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The traders of destiny and glory. I come against them this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will make it. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. I said you will make it in the name of Jesus Christ. This time next year, I said this time next year, not only will you be alive, your mouth, your heart will be filled with testimony, Thanksgiving, gratitude, appreciation 
in the name of Jesus Christ. There are people who say they cannot sleep. They try to sleep. They can't sleep. <laughs> I'm going to pray a prayer now. The day that Jesus came to my house, two of us could not sleep. You heard what I said? She came into the room at 1.40 a.m. She said, I'm, I'm not asleep. I said, you, Uncle. Uh, the Lord said to me, he said, there is a testimony I can give to somebody that will rob him or her of sleep. I speak into your life this morning. What God will do in your life this 2017, your eyes will be wide open in the name of Jesus Christ. For days, I could not sleep. I would go out of the window and look at where the vehicles were parked. I said, in this my house. When the Lord spoke to me some years ago, I was praying. He said, the time will come. He said, 17 cars. I said, sir, what will I do with 17 cars? There is a way that God rewards a person for faithfulness. I said, sir, am I going to be selling a motor? What will I do with 17 cars? He said, just wait and see what will happen. I used to tell her at that time. I'm sure she probably thought that my mouth was smelling also. She has said that we don't want motor again. This house we want now. Have we? <laughs> God told me. He said, don't stop the motor. He said, don't worry, the house will come. He said, just, just be watching what will happen. I declare and I speak concerning your life. This year, 2017, what God will do in your life for days and weeks, it will be unbelievable. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, let them know this year as the turning point for good. In the name of Jesus Christ. You know the Bible says that God is not ignorant of your labor of love. He said, in due course. Mm. I think you are special people. Eh? I think so. That grace will manifest. Father, I thank you. Lord, I bless your name. Let your mighty hand come upon everyone here present for good in Jesus. Amen. Every property of theirs that the enemy has seized. Every property of theirs that the enemy is holding on to. I command a release now in Jesus' name. Amen. I command a release now in Jesus' name. Amen. I command a release now in Jesus' name. I command a release now in Jesus' name. I command a release now in Jesus' name. Lord, the Bible says in the book of 2 Kings, it says that when the woman returned from exile after seven years of famine, the king said to his servant, give back to her everything that belongs to her. 
I speak into the life of everyone here present this morning. Whether they are angels, whether falling, whether devils or demons by whatever name they are called. Every power, whether of light or darkness, holding on to anything that belongs to them. I cause a release now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause a release now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I cause a release now. Let it be so for I've done so with thanksgiving in Jesus' name.